If you cannot imagine that you are in front of him too difficult for you, then go to the next step, imagine that he sees you. And I derived this from the definition of Ihsan, which Rasulullah mentioned in his answer to Jibreel in the famous hadith known as Hadith Jibreel. Sayyiduna Umar radiallahu ta'ala an narrated, it is in the two books, Al-Bukhari and Muslim. قال أخبرني عن الإحسان قال أن تعبد الله كأنك تراه فإن لم تكن تراه فإنه يراك إحسان is to worship Allah سبحانه وتعالى as though you see him as though you saw him فإن لم تكن تراه if you do not see him if you cannot see him فإنه يراك know that he sees you this is the rule or the major principle in our relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala beyond Islam and Iman, beyond achieving the six pillars of belief, establishing them, having them firm in our hearts and beyond establishing the ibadat, the five pillars of Islam. And this is the core of our deen. However, in our relationship with Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam, we have several levels and several steps. The top level is Ihsan. Because Ihsan, linguistically speaking, means perfection. To perfect something. To do it in the best way. In our relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we have Ihsan. And in our relationship with Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam, we must have ihsan.